Welcome back. Problem 8-26. So this problem is taken from chapter number 8, Combined Loading and the book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler. So statement is the column is built up by gluing the two identical boards together. Determine the maximum normal stress developed on the cross section when eccentric force of P is 50 kN is applied. So you can see this is the cross section of this column that is made from two identical boards that are glued together at this point this is let this is board number one and this is board number two and there is a centric force which is away from the center is applied so you have to find the maximum normal stress developed in the uh, column so let's start with the solution so first step is that we do not know the centroid of the cross section so we will find First, we will find centroid of section. Centroid of section. So this can be found by using this formula, which is y dash bar is equal to sum of y dash into a divided by sum of the areas. So let this is you your element are board number one and this is your board number two so by using this formula it will be equal to y1 dash into a1 plus y2 dash into a2 divided by a1 plus a2 now we will find a1 and a2 so a1 is equal to you can see this is the a1 member so a1 will be this area so 150 multiplied by 300 so 150 in millimeter is 0 0.150 and uh, 300 is 0 0.300 so this is a1 and a2 will be equal to this area so this is 300 and this is 150 so this is a2 area a2 so A2 is equal to 300 which is 0 0.300 into height is 0 0.150. Now we will find Y1 dash. So what will be Y1 dash? So again if you take uh, this as a reference line. So Y1 dash will be equal to distance from neutral. Distance from this uh, uh, this reference line let me write this is the reference line okay and distance from this reference line to the mid of this section will give you y1 dash so this is your y1 dash this distance is y1 dash And this y1 dash is equal to 150 millimeter divided by 2 which is equal to 75 millimeter and in meter it is 0 0.075 meter. So y1 is 0 0.075 meter. What is y2 dash? So y2 dash is distance from this reference line till the mid of this section. So this is equal to y2 dash. So I will also draw it like that. This is the distance with this is y2 dash. And this y2 dash you can see the half of this will be 150. So 150 plus 150 is 300 clear. So this y2 dash is 300 millimeter which is equal to 0 0.3 meter i will write y2 dash is equal to 0 0.3 meter now you have all the values you can just put it in this formula y dash is equal to y1 bar which is 0 0.075 into area a1 which is 0 0.150 into 0 0.300 plus y2 dash y2 dash is 0 0.3 multiply by the area a2 which is 0 0.30 into 0 0.150 divide by 
area a1 plus a2 so a1 is 0 0.150 into 0 0.3 plus a2 is 0 0.30 into 1.0.150 0. so when you calculate it you will get y bar which is the location of centroidal x uh, centroid and that's come out to be 0 0.1875 meter or you can say 187.5 millimeter so i will choose another color in order to show the centroidal axis so let the centroidal axis will be this let's say this is the location of centroidal axis and this distance from this line is this distance is y dash so y dash is equal to 0 0.1875 meter or you can say it is equal to 187.5 millimeter since we are dealing with meter so we will choose this value now you have this y you will find uh, the moment of inertia i and this moment of inertia again can be found so this is the y dash axis and this is the center line of this axis okay and let your x axis which is along the length of column is in this direction this is your x this is your y axis and this is your z axis clear so we will find i about z why i about z because you can see this is the load so due to if we want to transfer this load to this point so you will be having a movement so due to this movement we will need i about z axis so we'll find i about z axis so first we will find for member one which is equal to one over 12 bh cube so b is 300 and height is 150 so one over 12 0 0.300 into height is 0 0.150 cube 112 bh cube plus ad square so area of this first member is 0 0.3 into 0 0.150 now what is d square so d square is distance from neutral axis till the mid of this section so this is d1 clear and this can be found if you subtract uh, mm, uh, this distance y y1 from this y dash so i will write y dash is 0 0.1875 minus y1 is 0 0.075 whole square okay plus 1 over 12 now the second member its height is 300 and width is 150 so 1 over 12 bb is 0 0.150 and height is 300 which is 0 0.3 meter whole cube plus this area 0 0.3 into 0 0.150 and what is d2 for this so d2 is distance from neutral axis till the mid this is the neutral axis till the mid of this section clear so how you will find this d2 so if you take this distance y2 which is 0 0.3 and you subtract this y dash from this distance so you will get this d2 let me show you if you this is y2 dash and this is y dash so if you subtract y dash from this y2 so you will get the d so i will write d is 0 0.3 minus 0 0.1875 whole square so when you solve it you will get movement about z axis comes out to be 1.505609 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter power 4 now you can see that what if uh, if this is the vertical uh, y axis and this was the x axis clear and this is uh, sorry z axis and this is x axis x z y so if you want to move this force to this point to this point there and you want to remove this force 
FP. So definitely you will be having a moment like this. Why? Because you can see force into perpendicular distance, which is this one, this distance. This will give you moment. And how you will find this distance? So let me talk about this. So you can see this total distance from this till this is 400 millimeter. And this distance is Y dash, which is equal to 0 0.1875 meter. So if you subtract uh, 0 0.4 minus 0 0.1875, that will be equal to 0 0.2125. So distance from this point till this, this distance is 0 0.2125 meter and p into perpendicular this distance 0 0.2 is producing moment if you transfer the force to this point so by using four equivalent force system equivalent force system p will be equal to same which is 50 kilo newton that is given and moment will be equal to 50 kilo newton into perpendicular distance is 0 0.2125 meter that will give you 10.625 kilo newton into meter that will be in clockwise direction so i will also write or uh, draw the distance from this point to this point is actually 0 0.2125 and this distance is y dash which is 0 0.1875 meter the sum of these two will give you 400 millimeter which is 0 0.4 meter now you have this movement and you have force so you can see due to this is the combined loading we have a movement about z axis and you have a normal load which is compressive one or axial load p so you will get the stress will be equal to the combination of combined loading that is axial stress that is compressive minus m into y divided by i why because you can see due to this loading this lower portion will be in tension uh, compression while upper portion is in tension or you can say that from neutral axis this distance is the largest one and that is downward clear so this will that's why this is we have taken the compression compressive stress so you can just put the value maximum stress will be equal to minus p by a so minus p is 50 kilo newton 15 to 10 to power 3 divided by area which is a1 a1 plus a2 and this will be the areas so i will write this area when you calculate is 0 0.09 square meter minus movement which is 10.625 into 10 to power 3 clear into y y is distance from neutral axis to the point where load was applied and this distance is 250 millimeter uh, or you can say uh, this edge will be also included so distance from neutral axis till the la lower portion so 0 0.2125 plus 0 0.0050 will give you y and this will be equal to 0 0.262 5 divide by i and i which we have calculated was 1.5065605609 into 10 to the power minus 3 and you will get maximum stress comes out to be minus 2.342 mega pascal since the value is negative so it means that maximum normal stress is 2.34 megapascal and that is in compression or compressive stress and 
that is the answer of this question and that was all about this problem 8-26 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching